I would like to propose a toast. It's really great to see everyone. I wish it wasn't just the dark times that brought us together. The man you're looking for is Vandal Savage. Well, who is he? An immortal. This is a cycle that has played out for the last 4,000 years. We're chasing down an immortal madman on a rampage against a reincarnated warrior priestess. Since when did our life suddenly become an Indiana Jones movie? Priestess? I grew up in Wisconsin. As your memories come back to you, so will other things as well. Savage is going to decimate Central City. What we need to do is get rid of him. You're not going to get rid of him. Watch us. Everyone in there is willing to die to protect us. It's what makes them all heroes. My hate will follow you. For all eternity. Now, Kendra! Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So there's some new Flare footage that confirms the, the big crossover episode is gonna deal with Hawkman and Hawkgirl's origin story. And it looks like it's binding Vandal Savage to them. It just, it confirms some of that. But we also may have gotten some information about the Legends of Tomorrow premiere in a separate talk that Greg Berlanti, like the, you know, the overlord producer of everything was doing recently. So I'll talk about that after I talk about Flare stuff. So Vandal Savage in the clip says, my hate will follow you across all eternity. Then we see a giant meteor that looks like it's crashing into an Egyptian temple. So I think what this is, is it just confirms that they're combining Vandal Savage's origin story, how he got struck by the meteor with Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Now Vandal Savage's original backstory put him somewhere near Neanderthals. The meteor that struck him and made him immortal also evolved his mind. So he's kind of like a throwback to Cro-Magnum. Hawkman and Hawkgirl were originally normal Egyptians. Carter Hall was originally named Prince Khufu, and he had this rival priest called Hath Set. Set ends up killing Khufu and his lover, Shay Ara, with an nth metal dagger, and that's what starts the curse of reincarnation. So what I'm wondering is, is if in this trailer, that meteor is made of nth metal, or, or some similar mineral that starts the cycle of death and rebirth. Now, one of the side effects of this reincarnation cycle, if you haven't read the comics, is that when Hawkman and Hawkgirl die, they get reincarnated, obviously, but when they're reincarnated, they don't remember their previous lives. So they also don't remember they used to be lovers. They usually, they don't get reincarnated right next to each other. They have to find each other. And part of their tragedy is, is that they usually only find each other and remember their past lives right before they get ready to die again. So, you know, they, they find each other, they fall in love again, they remember everything, and then one of them usually dies. I don't know if they're going to do that again on the TV show. Like, I don't think they're going to immediately kill Hawkman off because he's going to be on Legends of Tomorrow. So at least there'll be 13 episodes. But I'm expecting that at some point they will address that. As it stands right now, it looks like Hawkgirl probably died recently because she has no memory of her previous life. That's why in the trailer you hear Hawkman saying, you're starting to remember. He brings her her armor. One fun Easter egg is that at a certain point in the comics, they had a child together named Hector Hall that went on to become one of the Doctor Fates. But because there's a bunch of different versions of Hawkman and Hawkgirl in the comics, in case you're confused, this is JSA backstory, the most recent retcon of their history. Because part one of the episode is called Legends of Yesterday, I think that's when we'll get this flashback and they'll explain the actual origins. So it seems like they're being fairly true to the comics, they're just marrying a couple aspects of Vandal Savage's origin story and tying it to Hawkman and Hawkgirl's origin. So I'm actually kind of wondering if, if they're tying Vandal Savage to Hawkman and Hawkgirl, if they've erased Immortal Man from continuity and they're giving aspects of that character to Hawkman and Hawkgirl. The, the thing about Immortal Man, if you're not familiar with that character, is he's like Vandal Savage's Solovar. Like Gorilla Grodd has an ultimate nemesis in the comics called Solovar, like an equally smart gorilla that's good instead of being evil like Grodd. Immortal Man is like the other side of the coin from Vandal Savage. He got his powers from the same meteor that Vandal Savage got his powers from. So at least until they explain it, I'm just going to think of Hawkman and Hawkgirl as like the new Immortal Man of the DC Universe. Even though, even though technically their origin is closer to their actual origin story from the comics. Being reincarnated isn't quite the same thing as being immortal. Being immortal means being free from death. In order to be reincarnated, you have to die first. So because Merlin calls Vandal Savage immortal, maybe if he gets struck by this meteor, it ends up having a different effect on him than it has on Hawkman and Hawkgirl. I am really hoping this ends up being an nth metal meteorite. That would be so badass. But moving on to Legends of Tomorrow, Greg Berlanti just did this big interview with the Paley Center where he said that they hope to drop Legends of Tomorrow Episode 1 on January 21st. That's actually a Thursday, which makes sense. You'd have Flash on Tuesday, Arrow on Wednesday, and then you'd have Legends of Tomorrow on Thursday. 
So Legends will follow those other two shows. And yes, all the characters will cross over. Even the villains will cross over with Legends of Tomorrow. But once it's all said and done, you can think of it as almost like a Netflix series, the way they weave the story together. That's why they've shortened the run, so they can serialize it a little bit more, and it'll be more binge-watch friendly at the end. But he also said some other really cool stuff about the DC Universe in general, especially like the TV shows. So I'm just going to play this clip here. This is Greg Berlanti. Um, for those of you who don't know, Greg is currently shepherding the numbers one and two highest rated new series of the year with a third series, Legends of Tomorrow, that we have very high hopes for on January the 21st. So from our perspective, again, thanks to my friend and protege, we're having a very good year. I, I came back to Warner's, as he said, and you know, I had participated in a film called Green Lantern, uh, which wasn't the best experience for me. Uh, for a number of reasons, it wasn't really sort of what I had seen and written in my head. It was kind of taken from us, and somebody, everybody else sort of did something very different with it. And, and, but I came back, and Peter, in spite of that, said, why don't you do a DC show? And he's probably the most convincing man in, in Hollywood. And uh, I said, well, you know, if I were to do one, the one that would interest me the most was, is Arrow, uh, in part because there's a way to do, there's a reason to do that show at the time. You know, I really felt like there was a reason to do it on television, and that his origin story could happen concurrently with the rest of the show. And you know, in a film, you'd get the origin story done in 20 minutes, and you'd be on to, you know, they're sort of the hero. But here, we could sort of tell them simultaneously. Uh, and, and so that was sort of the initial kind of impulse for it. So what's going to happen next is, is Heroes and Villains Fan Fest is coming up. If they do anything noteworthy or drop new footage, I will totally do a video for it. I'm sure they'll be talking a lot about Legends of Tomorrow, so it'll be a lot of fun. But I will say congratulations to last week's Reverse Flash giveaway winner, Lord Minecraft. Be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact info. I'm going to try and do a new Supergirl video this week, but because there's so much Jessica Jones that I have to get through, that just that might be delayed till next week. Why you guys wait for everything to post? You can click here for my first Jessica Jones episode video. It's so, so badass. Make sure you guys watch that series. And you can click here for all my other Flash Arrow videos from this week. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.